Because, I mean, you really don't know the real world until you leave a space, your comfortable space. You don't really know the world. You don't really know. People are like, oh, I learned so much. I'm like, but you've been in college the whole time. Like, when you move away from college, you'll learn more than when you, everything that you end up to college, so. I think that to find ourselves, we should uh, go away from our zone of comfort. You know? Where we know everybody, everything. We should just take phone, credit cards and go somewhere. To understand who you are. Connection will only ever happen if you are relaxed and she is relaxed. And what I mean by relaxation is not without negative feelings. Because something you may believe is to be relaxed in front of a woman is to be without negative feelings, is to be without discomfort. That's not what I mean. I mean not attaching yourself to the uncomfortable feelings that come up, allowing that to relax you. Because it's only from this place of non attachment to those negative feelings is the only way you're going to be able to help her relax if she is uncomfortable. Excuse me, you're not getting on this bus, are you? No. Okay, I saw you and I love you. Thank you. I just want to say hello to you. Hello. My yes. name is Anthony. Yes. Nice hey, you are feeling warm? Yes. I need to say I love you too, or what? No. <laughs> I'm saying, I said, never mind. Where are you from? Russia. A Russian girl. Yeah. yeah, you're walking so fast. Are you in a rush somewhere? Uh, yeah, I tried to find my uh, hostel. It's something here. Um, guys, help me. And I think I'm on the right direction. Are you, are you checking in or are you just going back to your hostel? Uh, I'm checking. You, I'm going to check in. You're going to check in with no bags? I have one. This, how long yeah. are you here? Uh, two hours. I go back um, uh, Thursday, th Thursday early morning. Oh, you've been here for two hours? Yeah, I just okay. uh, came here from my airport. And you got dropped off in the center and now you're looking for your hostel? Yeah. So that means that I stopped you right when you arrived into the city? Right. Yeah. What are you filming? Uh, so I said a social experiment. Okay. I wonder. Hello. Yes. <laughs> so I, I get to say I love you on film. Cool. Yeah. What are you doing for the rest of the day? What? What are you doing for the rest of the day? Uh. Chilling. I don't know. Walking somewhere. Walking somewhere. <laughs> it's cool. It's very beautiful. Not, no, 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 it doesn't matter what to do because you are in Budapest. It's like Paris but more cheap and romantic and... What's the, what's the romance about the city to you? Uh, bridges, river, uh, cathedral, all, all of this atmosphere, atmosphere. Hmm. This is my favorite city. Where are you from? Chicago. How long are you here? I've been living here. Ah, you are living here? Mm -hmm. For two years or what? Yeah, two years. No, three years actually. Three years. And you study here? No? Working. Mm -hmm. What is your profession? <laughs> what a formal question. That's a formal way to because ask Because I'm a journalist. <laughs> working as journalist in Moscow, so What I... a fucking formal way to ask a question. <laughs> no, because, um, I don't know. Okay, uh, I'm a coach, I guess. A coach? Yeah, coach? Mm -hmm. Of what? Of helping people understand themselves. S uh, psychology, yes? Sort uh, of? It's actually away from psychology. It's helping you understand yourself outside of psychology. That's what it is. What you want to do, who are you, yes? Uh -huh. All of these questions. It's very important, mission. It's a mission. Yeah. Cool. I think I need to go. Do you have a mission in life? I haven't found it yet. 
but I think that it's too close to me and I think that I'm close to understand it. Oh, that's good. I don't have a mission right now. I just want to be more of what, who I am, I, but I don't have a mission. Like, I want to be the person who, you know, coaches a thousand people a year, like I do nothing like that. Okay, maybe our mission is understand our mission. Yes, what? Our mission is understand our mission in the end of the life. But that means that you would have to know your mission to understand it. Yeah, so I'm saying I don't have a mission to understand. I just want to be more of this. I think help people is, it, it could be a mission. It could be a mission, yeah. It could, yeah. I'm really not interested in that though, like the mission of like helping people. If that happens as an expression, more so than like, Young people, <coughs> old people, or it doesn't matter? Uh, from basically 18. Because I mean, you really don't know the real world until you leave a space, your comfortable space. Mm -hmm. You don't really know the world. You don't really know. People are like, oh, I learned so much. I'm like, but you've been in college the whole time. Like when you move away from college, you'll learn more than when you, everything that you end up to college. So, so uh, what can you suggest to go from your era of, of comfort or what? Zone of, of comfort. What do you mean? Mm, I mean, uh, what are you always uh, suggest people to find themselves? I think that to find ourselves, we should uh, go away from our zone of comfort. You know? Where we know everybody, everything. We should just take phone credit cards and go somewhere to understand who you are that's like that's me. one that's one way then the other way is to let go of who you think you are and discover what else you are so that's more of what I would teach and the other part what you're saying too because when you move out of your comfort zone like what you said you do find out a lot about yourself like what do you get scared of and uh, yes. what what happens when your friends are not around you and someone uh, is being people aggressive just towards you? Fe feel uncomfortable. Where, where um, all people don't like feel uncomfortable themselves. You and me too. It's normal. It's our. It's something natural. But I think we should. Um, yeah, get away from zone of comfort. Zone of comfort. Yes. I like the way you say it because it sounds so Russian. Yes. It's called it's like it's called comfort zone, but you're like, get away from your zone of comfort. <laughs> like this is I the most literal this is the most literal way to say it. Uh, uh, my English is not very good because uh, and so I um, speak just how I imagine it. Zone of comfort, yes. <laughs> it's like that. Uh, after you check in, would you like to go for a walk? My cameraman won't be there. Because I actually like you. He, he's still, he's he still, he's still filming, filming, yeah. Filming. Yeah, but I actually, okay. yeah, Lena. Everyone knows Natasha. Why? Natasha is so, so it's Russian. It's so, so, yes, oh, it's so Russian. Is, is Yelena Russian as well? Yeah. Cause I, my mom, my mom is Helen. Oh, she. Yeah. <laughs> you my are the typical. My father is Alexander. You know this mm -hmm. name, yeah. And That's not Russian is, at all, though. That's like. You know. German. Alexander? Yeah, it sounds German to me. Uh, this name has Greece. Uh... <laughs> okay, this name came from Greece, from Greek. and. Is it really? Yeah. So you, are you trying to tell me that there's a lot of... Is it... Because there's, there's a few ways you can say Alex, though. It's like Alex... Alexandro? No, no, it's not. I'm thinking of Alejandro. Alex is not Alexander. It's different names. Is it Alex short for Alexander? Alex is not a fucking Greece name. Like, is that, so you trying to tell yes, me? Yes, yes, yeah, Alexander so is a Greece name. Alex, it's another name. So you trying to tell me if I went to Greece, there will be many people that are called Alexander? Yeah. No, you're <laughs> lying because you never even went there. Okay, I have yeah, never been to Greece and I don't know, but I know history. I Alexander the Great is Greek. Yeah. Or is he Macedonian? Ha, ha, ha. I'm right. But I have never been to Greece. It's yeah. just, I guess I just didn't know that. And I, I think of Alexander as an American name, a fucking UK name, or a British name. 
maybe if you grew up in Vienna. Scottish thing. I always thought it was that. Now you know it. Hey, my brother's name is Ivan. It's 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 uh, really I Russian. I I V A N. Yeah. It's Russian name. That's fucking Fairy Russian. Fairy tales and every cartoons, uh, old cartoons. Ivan, 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 and nice. Ivan and nice. It's it's Russian names. Really. Believe me, please. Like Natasha. I hate this name, really. Because everyone uh, abroad think that uh, every Natasha is, um, I don't know, um, bitch? <laughs> I don't know. Is a bitch? Are you? Are you? <laughs> no, are you you've been You've been that to me this whole time. What? Yeah, you're like a Russian bitch. I'm kidding. No, you're not. You're very oh, sweet, actually. You're actually sweet. So. But really, I don't know. Uh, I woke up today at four o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. and I don't know what to do. Maybe I will sleep. Maybe I will get coffee and chat with my parents. I don't know. How about you do something that's even better than that and hang out with me? Mm? How about you do something that's better than both of those options and hang out with me? Because you don't know. Do you know Budapest very well? Uh, I have a map. <laughs> but you don't know Budapest, though. I know Budapest. Sure, I don't know Your parents Budapest. don't know Budapest. Your bedroom don't know Budapest. Your bed doesn't know Budapest. <laughs> but I know Budapest. Okay. Uh, at 5 o'clock, approximately at 5, we can... Um... Let's meet out in front of your hostel. That's the best way to do it. Because... Okay. Are you traveling the world because you're trying to understand... Uh, a lot, honest, so you can be, so you can, uh, pro, so you can uh, progress your journalist career. Is that why you are traveling as well? It, it's good uh, variant, but no. Uh, to be honest, tomorrow it's my birthday, my twenty-first birthday, and uh, this uh, trip is a present from me to me. Mm. I like spend my birthday. Um, I don't like to repeat. Uh, Celebration of my birthday. I don't know. Uh, last year I was. That was pretty interesting, huh? I'm talking to the girl, and then a woman comes by and she says, You're being filmed. And the girl doesn't react that harshly. I definitely don't feel any difference. My main thing in the moment is relaxing her to make sure that she doesn't freak out about the situation. And then she goes, what are you filming? And I just said a social experiment to see how many girls I can say I love you to. And she relaxed. And then at some point she turned to the camera, you've seen everything that happened. But I have to tell you that <clears throat> it was because I was relaxed that she remained relaxed. Because she didn't become like, oh, okay, what, what? she didn't do like that. She was relaxed, but imagine if I started to freak out and on the inside and react to it. Imagine the parts of me like really, really freaked out and I was just letting it control everything I was doing. She would have felt nervous or she would have felt like this is a weird situation. I want to get out. But I remain with it though. And that's great because that leads us into what we're going to talk about today. When you are relaxed, she'll be relaxed. And relaxed doesn't mean without negative feeling. So why do I say being relaxed doesn't mean without negative feeling? The media continuously tries to project that the guy who is going to be great with women is the guy who is confident and feeling nothing on the inside but comfort. This is how they try to make it look in, your, in, in, the, in the eyes of what it, what it means to be a confident man or what it means to be a man who can speak to women. He's the guy who believes in himself so much that he doesn't need to prove himself to women, that he's just in himself, he's comfortable with being himself. 
and he's not feeling anything negative. Because when you feel negative things, women are freaked out by it. They're freaked out by nervousness. They're freaked out by fear. Especially if you're terrified, good luck. This is being pressed onto you to let you know. This is not an actuality. Figures that you think about when it comes to being comfortable with women is you think about people like James Bond. You think about people like Russell Brand. Or maybe you have figures in your mind, maybe you have friends who you see like they're really comfortable around women. They don't act weird. They seem like they don't have any nervousness, that they are just totally fine. What it means to be relaxed around women has become unrealistic to you. Because even if I'm in a moment and I'm relaxed around a woman, that doesn't mean that she's going to go home with me. I'm talking about like feeling no negative feelings. That doesn't mean that she's going to go home with me. That doesn't even mean that I have more of a chance than if I had negative feelings. No, it doesn't even mean that. It's just simply, you don't feel anything, you feel at ease. And yes, from that position, will you be able to clearly do things? Will you be able to clearly express yourself in ways? Yes. Don't get me wrong. I'm not here to tell you that being at ease is not the easiest place to operate. It's actually the easiest place to operate. But I want to make sure you know that that's not what total relaxation is. Total relaxation in a way that the media doesn't uh, show you is simply being okay. That's total relaxation. And being okay doesn't mean that you don't feel negative feelings. It just means whatever happening in the moment, you feel okay about it. That is total relaxation. And let's think about when you're in front of a woman. You start to feel like, or when you think about even going to talk to a woman, you start to feel like these negative feelings inside of me, this is something wrong with it. I shouldn't be feeling this. I should be comfortable. I should be kind of like this guy or this guy. My friend, he seems to be so comfortable. I bet he doesn't feel this. You have become unrealistic. Your mind has actually showed you what's unrealistic. You become afraid of the feelings, like we're going to talk about later. Do not allow the media to jade your view of what it means to be relaxed around women. Because they say it as if you should feel no negative feelings, that you should only feel comfort, that you should only feel that you got this, that you're clear, that you know what you want. You should only feel that because that is what women want. They want the men who are like that and don't feel any negativity because the negativity pushes them away. They are right at the surface level. If I walked up to a girl and I was like, uh, excuse me, um, I think that uh, you look beautiful. If I was doing that, of course she would think it's weird because it's not normal to do that. If a girl was like, so where should we go right now? And I was like, um, I mean, where do you want to go? Like, it's just, I mean, over there is fine. Is over there fine? Of course. She wouldn't be attracted to that. Of course she is at the surface level. And me, being someone who definitely used to struggle with avoiding and not wanting to show negative feelings, I had to learn what relaxation truly was. I built disgust toward feeling anything negative. I built disgust toward feeling anything discomforting in relation to women. I built disgust toward it. I wanted to just get to the place where I didn't feel any of that. I wanted to get to the place where I only felt just comfort inside of myself. No discomfort. Because if I, when I felt discomfort, I felt like there was something wrong. That I need to learn more. That I need to push more. That I need to go out there and do more. That's how I felt. 
And I was like, man, I just want to relax and be able to just be myself. I want to be able to just be okay around the woman. I want to be able to go for what I want and not feel like I'm always frustrated about the fact that I feel these things. Why do I have to keep feeling this? I've been doing it for some time and I still feel this. I didn't want to even show that. I hated showing that. I did. Even outside of women, I hated showing negative feelings. I did. Because it meant it was something wrong with me. And I had to correct it and I had to do something about it. That's what I didn't like. Because I wanted to just feel I was okay. And I was in such a position of not feeling okay because I was so scared to like do certain things on the street and, and meet women in certain ways and, and go for it and kiss them. And I was so scared in all these many ways that I just didn't want to show that I was scared. That's what it was. I remember a story where I was talking to this girl and as I'm speaking to her, my heart's racing because she's really attractive and she's giving me a chance and as things are getting even closer to me asking for the uh, number, I, my heart rate just goes up more. Then she gave it to me and I felt really great. My heart was still racing. And then I was like, I'm gonna go for the hug. I've never went for a hug on, on a girl like this. I, I, I think this was a situation. I'm trying to remember correctly. And I went in for the hug. One thing I do know is that I went in for the hug and my heart was racing and I didn't want her to feel that against her. So my, my chest kind of collapsed and I gave her a hug where it was like, it kind of was like close, but like collapsed in a way. Because if she felt that I was nervous about this, if she felt that I was uncomfortable, I thought that she would lose interest. And this is simply coming from the fact that I perceive that when a man is good with women, he doesn't feel anything. He just feels comfortable, he's able to just talk to girls. Girls are like, oh my God, he's just so confident. And he's the guy where he's so comfortable in himself that he doesn't have to deal with those things anymore. I was so wrong because I felt that to have a connection, to really connect with women, I need to be totally at ease, totally, not feeling anything. So wrong, I was wrong. to the point where I was blocking myself from having a real connection. And I'm here to clear things up with you to let you know that it's okay to feel negative feelings. It's totally fine. If you feel negative feelings, it's fine but it's about do you react to it? Are you attached to it in a moment? Does it make you do things that you don't want to do? This is what it came to. It came to this thing of, okay, what is it like if I'm in front of a woman and I'm feeling these negative things and I just let it be there. What is this like? I had to become very different with the way I was doing things because nothing showed me this in relation to women, nothing did. Nothing showed me that you can be so uncomfortable and there can still be a strong connection with a woman. Nothing showed me that because everything was, was teaching me that this is the way to relax. This is because it was coming from the place of relaxation is void of feelings. That's the place it was coming from. So that's what I thought. I thought I was like, okay, if I'm going to be relaxed, that means that I'm not going to feel what I'm feeling right now. But the only thing that really taught me that, because nothing out there, I'm talking as far as the community or self-development, nothing out there really taught me that. But the only thing that I can say that was concrete that taught me that was meditation. It was the only thing that taught me <clears throat> staying with something seeing it but not letting not reacting to it it was the only thing so with me becoming curious about how i can do this and me meditating at the time i just went what if i
feel whatever I'm going to feel when I'm speaking to women and just feel it. Just see it in the moment. Just acknowledge it. Not do anything about it, but only acknowledge it. <laughs> to the point where I would run up to women and my heart would be racing and I would look like I'm very, very normal. Act very, very normal. And I was wondering like, how am I able to act so natural and normal when my heart's racing? How am I able to do this? Before, what I thought was when you're having these negative feelings, they just control you. You need to find a way to not let them control you. That's what I thought. And I was like, the only way to do that for me, of course, was breathing before I went in, trying to relax myself. All right. Okay, now I'm ready. Doing that or trying to hide it in the moment by trying to be aloof. Trying to show like I'm disinterested. This is the ways I try to hide it. Or talking a lot. Trying to make jokes. It made me react, for sure. And I was hiding it. I began to incorporate meditation. With the racing heart, I just started to go, my heart just is racing. This doesn't mean X, X, X. It's just racing. My mind is racing right now, and I want to find the right thing to say. Because I feel like this woman is too much for me. My mind wants to race. Not because I'm less, not be no, my mind is just racing. And the moment I'll acknowledge it, I'll come back to the moment. Sometimes my knees will feel weak. Sometimes I used to get a hard gut feeling, intense gut sensation. And I would just let it be there. And one of the things I used to say at the time to myself is just like, fall in love. This is one of the things I used to say to myself because it was like, this sensation is not against me in the moment. It's just there. So, fall in love with this. I used to say this to myself. And I would go, on the inside I would just go, and I would just, just go into it. And the racing heart would actually get more intense. The stomach feeling would actually get tighter. The space between my perineum or the, the perineum, it would, it, it would become tighter at times. And then it would release and leave. And I just went, this is just like meditation. It's the same. I'm out here speaking to women and there's times where something happens and maybe I'm out at night and a guy does something or maybe I'm doing something and the girl has a harsh reaction. And maybe I, my body goes into reaction. But now I can just stay with it and I can be normal. I can still act normally. Of course, it's very difficult. I'm not saying that this is easy. This is very, very difficult. It is. That's why most people, when they're feeling something, they let it control them because to actually go, actually, that's not me. It's very, very difficult. It takes awareness and it takes focus. It takes, it's difficult to do. But I was teaching myself. I was teaching myself this process. And with this, connection was possible. Because that's what this is all about. Although we're talking about negative feelings and being able to be okay with them, we're talking about it in relation to connection. You can have a connection with someone. If your heart is racing and your knees are weak, you have a gut feeling and you feel like, you, oh, what do I say next? You can have a connection from that place if you become aware of all that. You absolutely can. Because it's not controlling you anymore. 
It's not making you talk too much. It's not making you move your body in ways. It's not making your eyes dark. It's not doing these things. It's just you need to be aware of what's happening. If you don't allow yourself to be aware, the tension will stay there. It will, it might go away, but then it'll come back. But most of the times it will just stay there because it's making you react. And then the more you try to not make it, make you react, the more you're gonna react. But now you're trying to control it. You'll never control the sensation. This is something very important for you to understand right now in the moment. You'll never control the sensation. You can only see it and from the very seeing, that is, so to speak, giving it a chance to not have control over you. Because you're now you're at a distance. And at the distance, you can even be totally engaged at the distance with the scene. I started to have connections. Before, I couldn't. Because I was trying to get away from it and manage it. But the moment I started to relax, the moment I started to really go, ah, and just see it, that's when I, it started to open up the avenue for both of us to have a real connection. And the more and more I started to do that, the more and more I started to be able to relax, help relax women. And this is incredibly valuable. Because the man that can help relax a woman is the man that's the most trustable to a woman. When you are in front of a girl and you're reacting to these sensations and you're, you're doing things and you're talking too much, she can't actually trust you. She can't actually be comfortable with you. Because those things make her react. Because when she's in front of you, you're taking her on something. So as you take her into an experience, if you take her into a uh, discomforting experience where it's nervousness and this, of course she's going to feel like, okay, I don't want to be a part of this. And she's going to feel like, I don't want to see him again. Even she may even give you the number. But let's say that the feelings are still there, it's going everything, I don't care what's happening. But you're just seeing it, you're still there with her. You're allowing yourself to be with it. You're not running away from it in the moment. You're staying with it while you're with her and still act normally, which is very difficult, like I said. You can have something. You can have a connection, a real connection. I'm not talking about the connection you try to build through saying stuff. I'm talking about you can actually be there totally with her because that's the greatest connection you're gonna have with anybody being totally there. Learn that, or come to terms that, the only way for you to really have a connection, the way you want with women. I don't know if you're approaching, I don't know if you don't approach, but understand this point now. The only way you're gonna really be able to have a connection is to understand that you can have all those things happening and still be there with her and relaxed. You can. It's as if I'm talking to you right now and everything inside of me is just going crazy. Or maybe there's a part, maybe my heart's racing really fast. And I'm still talking to you like this. This has definitely happened at times where I've been speaking to you. Maybe in the beginning when there was someone looking at me, and it's definitely happened, there was a woman looking at me and I was saying something very vulgar or something like that, and my heart skipped a beat or something. And what I can choose to is stay here with you or to continuously react to the fact that there's a woman looking at me saying this. There's been times on film where my heart has been racing when I've been running up to the woman. And I stopped her and you don't even know that. You have no clue that it has. You think like Tony's just comfortable and he's just, you know, without any of that stuff that I feel and I want to learn how to do that. No. The object in life is to not, or with this part of life or any part of life, is to not learn to get away from those feelings or to avoid those. It's to have those feelings 
there. That's all. Have them there. That's it. It's not have them there built. No, none of that. Just have them there. That is it. It's like when you in a situation and maybe you feel things are getting tense or things may go in a direction of something going bad. And your heart starts racing and you're just sitting there while your heart's racing and you're just like this. Just very normal to it. When you react to it, you go like, your, your heart starts racing then you, then you want to go leave or you want to do something. That means that you're reacting to the feeling. But from the place of response, you can go, well, that's happening and maybe you are someone who is scared of stuff like that. You just go, I'm going to choose to get away from this because I know that this is not somewhere I want to be. Things may get very violent or whatever situation. I'm here to let you know that whatever is happening inside of you, it's perfect. It's perfect for you. Whether it be your heart racing, something part of your body closing down, you feeling uncomfortable about this, you feeling like you don't want to be here, you want to eject from whatever situation, that's perfect for you. That feeling, it's very perfect for you because it's teaching you specifically. All these discomforting feelings are there to teach us. Not that we're doing something wrong or not that we're doing something right. Just there to teach us that it's okay that I'm here with you. It's teaching you to be okay with it. Because these feelings come from situations outside of life. All the time. There are people who give you unsupportive energy, which makes you go, I want somebody to support me. And there's all kinds of situations that's not making you feel okay, but when you learn to feel okay, you're able to live more easily, just naturally from that. I want to tell you that I have more Berlin spots. So if you want to know more about my Berlin seminar, it's only about seven days left until I close registration. Go below in the description box on the Berlin seminar tickets, click the link, and you'll learn more about that. I also have a free Meet the Bedroom series. Everything from how do you meet the girl down to how do you take her home. Totally free for you below the Berlin seminar link. Subscribe and share this with anyone. Because people need to hear this, of course. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want. In life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll talk to you in a few days.